Well, here we go. Yet another action-packed episode of Deer Season 22. Cannot congratulate Chandler enough on the largest deer of his life. He was our catch-a-dream hunter that came in. So happy for him. And congratulations to Wade and Perry and Mark. They had that all lined out for him. So those guys did a great job. With that being said, the luck hasn't just went quite that way for everyone. Forrest and I have had some pretty tough luck, particularly with a deer called Devil Stickers. Deer cast has got a good predictor for this evening. So hopefully we'll uh, get an opportunity. We've been at this spot a couple of times. Both times that we've been there, we've seen two farks. Two farks is a deer that acts like he owns the field. Uh, I'm assuming we may see him again tonight. He, he likes to live there. That's his kind of his domain. We'll see the deer we're looking for is a deer we call double stickers. We had a, a, a lot of pictures, a lot of history with him last year. He hasn't been to some of those same areas this year. So uh, it's just a different plan. You got to strategize a little bit differently, but hey, we're up for that. That's what they we're all about. It's changing plans, it's adjusting.
and our thermals are dropping and he, he just caught me, or caught us. But I don't get upset very much, but that deer is dead, like 100% dead. Well, that little encounter was on us. There's a deer that we probably should be sitting behind and smiling, but we've got another hunt that we are sitting behind the deer and smiling. This one's with my mother. Watch this one. This is one for the ages. She never ceases to amaze us. What a motivational and inspirational person she is. This episode of DOD TV is brought to you by the incredibly durable Morel Shooting Target. With many designs available, you're sure to find a target that fits your practicing style. Precious cargo arrives. <laughs> oh yeah, precious cargo. I hope we're ready. Drury deer killer right here. God, what a glorious day. This would be a good day to be oh fishing and frying fish and maybe some fried zucchini and I don't know, maybe grilling a few steaks or barbecuing. But instead we're gonna do a little deer hunting. Hey, she's in different shape this year. Got that knee replaced. <laughs> I'll crawl up that when I've been riding for how long? Yeah. So I'll be a little stiff. Yeah, she's going to be a little stiff. Uh, and I had four hours in a truck. That's I had a long ride. horse last night. I feel, still feel it knotted. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Well, you wouldn't have had to ride as long if Terry hadn't forgot his credit card and everything. <laughs> yeah, we had to turn around and double back. But yeah, it cost us about 35, 40 yeah, minutes. It wasn't bad. Now, take your time. Just go real slow and just squeeze. That's what I want, that's what we want. Hallelujah, first shot is right there, 20 yards. So all we gotta do is get a big old buck at 20 yards. I've left this up to Forrest this year, we'll see how he does. <laughs> that was good. Right Boom. <laughs> Tell you what, we get one within 30, I think he's in trouble. Good shot, Mom, great Thank shooting. You. <laughs> you just stop, lady, you're all over this. <laughs> Thank you, Mission. Wow, uh, you blew the white flag out. Why would you want to continue practicing when you're that good? As you can see, one of the neighbors are working in his field right there. You know, many of the farmers have already shelled their corn. They're working on theirs. We've picked up some bucks in here over the last, oh, week to 10 days because of some of the crops coming out. We're just praying to God that we get one in front of us that stands there long enough for mom to get that mission crossbow, let the rage do its job, and hopefully uh, we'll all be happy doing high fives and hugs yet tonight. That's the plan anyway. We'll see how it works. Awesome, isn't it? Yeah, nature. It's pretty cool watching. 
They don't care either. Boy, they're gonna get as much as they can until she gets tired of it and then she walks off. Yeah, that's what she did. They ate a salad and they drank a glass of milk. <laughs> yeah. Sandy's working in real pretty. Well, he for some reason decided to squirt on through. scope and it's well I, and i hadn't ranged him yet that, that's frustrating because all he had to do was follow her yeah that's aggravating i thought he's gonna stop for a minute well and normally they would i don't know why he's why he did that the results are in deer cast was spot on deer cast predicted great great, great. Great. Deer cast says great. Get in the woods. Hunters love Deer Cast's exclusive deer movement forecast. Get ahead of your game with Deer Cast. Safety off. Okay. So here we are. We're practicing in a blind, much like we did last year. She was dead nails yesterday. <laughs> Bullseye. <laughs> I mean, if we get a deer standing there long enough, I'm pretty sure she's. I, I feel very, very confident that her shooting capability is all we need right there to put a deer on the ground. I got cough drops. How many? It'll be good then. How many? Four. You told me six, you little liar. <laughs> yeah, I have. I got three in each pocket. <laughs> <laughs> Look like you're going to church with your chapel on. <laughs> yeah, well, I don't want to get too wind blown. <laughs> She's been shooting the mission crossbow today, had her shooting at the morel target, absolutely on fire. So I got confidence if the deer comes out, I've got supreme confidence in your shooting. You've had good luck getting the scope. The eye relief is perfect for you. And we're just taking the decoy. It's not because we're at that time of year. What it is, is, is if a buck is up in the timber in the brush and sees a decoy on the food plot, he may work his way down there. And hopefully it'll hold his attention just long enough for mom to get on him with that uh, mission crossbow and the loophole scope. We got an HHA side on there. So hopefully he'll do right and Jane do her job. And we're gonna do our job. We're gonna do our job. You bet mom. Yep. Well, forest came down into this bottom. We ended up mowing some of the beans and planting biologic, and thank goodness we did. Unfortunately, we've not gotten any rain or at all on it. We need another another shower to keep it to keep it growing. Close. 
Good shot. Good shot, Mama. I don't know. Yes, that was a good shot. Think I got him? Yeah. She's well, what, my little hindsight and second guesser. <laughs> yeah, but you made a pretty good shot on him, Mom. I, I thought I thought it was pretty good. You just have to be patient as a deer hunter. You have to wait and be patient well, for the I, shot. Wasn't I? Yeah, you did. You well, were. then shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah is right. <laughs> oh, dear. Mom made a perfect shot, and I think it's testimony to her practicing you you shot really well mom yesterday and today that right. one buck just kind of he just didn't do what he was supposed to did he that one he gave no. us a slip yesterday twice and he gave us a slip today twice so yeah. if you want to just kind of stay put here for a little bit yeah we're we'll gonna look for Maybe blood and see i don't think he went far because she put an absolutely perfect shot on that deer well, we think so hopefully we'll find him i'll tell you what i feel pretty good about this one a lot of them i'm a little apprehensive she hit him perfect sound buddy Mom put a perfect shot on him. He ran, I don't know, maybe 70 yards, 80 yeah. yards. Hey, we just need for you to help us maybe get him up out of the creek. We can't, the two of us can't get him out of there. Well, how in the hell, what am I gonna do that? Just pull, I guess. Maybe if you could grab the antlers, we'll hang on to the leg or push. I need boots then. Oh, no, you want boots. <laughs> no, we got him up. We got him out of there. He's on the edge of the field. Oh my God, what a beautiful deer. Yeah, he's pretty. Well, Mama, congratulations. Tell me a little bit about the story. It was quite a hunt, wasn't it? Quite a hunt, quite a hunt. Yes, we had a lot of deer on the field and uh, they were some spikes and uh, two nice shooters, but uh, took a while to get them to reward us so we could uh, take a shot at one. And I managed that. Well, that's the moral of the story. Moral of the story, you drilled him. That's the moral <laughs> of the story. She absolutely poleaxed this thing, made the perfect shot with the mission crossbow, shooting a, a bolt with a Rage 2.3 chisel, and he just don't go very far. He didn't go very far. Well, it worked out well. We couldn't be happier, couldn't be more proud. We love you, Mama, like no other, and, and I'm I love just so you happy and proud of you. Well, I'm kind of proud myself. You should be, rightfully so. She's 89 and a half years old, gonna be 90 in April. And uh, she just had a knee replacement here a few months ago. She struggled a little bit last year, but she killed three antlerless last year and already killed a buck this year. So I, I couldn't be more proud. All I can say is I hope we can still do it at her age. You're really, really uh, getting it I done, Mom. I hope you can too, but. Beautiful nine point, beautiful nine. So. What's Mark gonna say? Oh, Mom, I'm proud of you. <laughs> <laughs> and he's going to say, come on up, let me take a turn, yeah. huh? <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah. Some of those biscuits, great. This is a story right here. Forrest and Shana have prepared a feast fit for a king. Oh and look, God. we've got a special guest here this morning. Brother Mark showed up. Somebody said there was breakfast in the house. <laughs> <laughs> I'll Where drive a long that? way for breakfast like that. I'm so glad I came over and saw this buck. Congratulations, Mom. Well, I'm proud to uh, show it. I was... Uh, one of the honored ones to be able to harvest it yesterday evening, and I was real proud. Couldn't be, couldn't be happier. Couldn't be more proud of what she's done and what she's shooting. But appreciate you coming over, Mark. I that was, wouldn't have missed it. That Plus, was nice. Forrest made breakfast. He and Shane. Yes. But that's pretty. That's pretty awesome. And 89 years young to go out there and do that and make a perfect shot with high pressure. Not only the fact that you're trying to make an ethical shot on the deer, but you've got cameras rolling. I mean, that's that's pretty impressive, Mom. Well, and even navigating the steps and getting in those blinds. Mom just had that knee replacement a few months ago. Yeah. And we were concerned about her abilities after that. Physical abilities or restrictions. And by golly, she's uh, weathered the storm and made it through all that. Thank you for coming over, and I thank uh, Terry and uh, Forrest for all their patience, uh, whatever the case may be, they're right there. Our privilege, our honor, our honor. We only hope that we can do it at your age too, Mom. Oh, what a motivation. It's uh, my honor just to be able to be here, so with these great people, I've enjoyed it. Been a lot of fun. Well, what an ending. I mean, how appropriate. Mom just uh, closes the deal and, and never ceases to amaze us with her her inspiration and motivation for all of us at, at her age, being able to do what she does. So we just love her with all our hearts and, and cannot congratulate her enough. 
Now, stay tuned for some of the following episodes or upcoming episodes. Wade is going to show you he harvests the largest deer of his life, and this is one you don't want to miss. And then there is a little bit of redemption coming. We're after double stickers. We'll see if we can close the deal. We're adding new videos every week, so make sure to click that subscribe button and check out all of our amazing content. This episode of DOD TV was brought to you by MOTV. For full episodes of 13 and all of our Outdoor Channel content, head over to the MOTV app and view it today.